Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping back in the channel. And today, we're going to learn how to do that fun little effect. But you don't just have to use it in a video like I showed you right there. You could also use it for a special effect. So I know a lot of you are getting into shooting music videos for people that you know or you're being hired by smaller creators to do music videos for them. You can use that as a special effect in a music video. I don't know, maybe if you wanted to do a little something like this. So of course we'll be utilizing LumaFusion and we're also going to need another app. But don't worry, it's a free app. It's called Magic Eraser. You can also do this in Affinity Photo as well if you guys know how to erase the backgrounds out of Affinity Photo. If you have the app Affinity Photo and you want to learn all of the little details that there are in Affinity, I am going to start to make Affinity Photo tutorials as well. So tomorrow's video is going to be basically this, but instead of using Magic Eraser, it's gonna be Affinity Photo. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. And launch LumaFusion. Grab the video that you want to work with, drop it in your timeline, and the very first thing that of course you'd want to do is do all of your color correction. That looks good. Okay, now get to the portion of the video where you want to have those images of you appear. So I'll say I'm going to start it right about here. Well, I'll cut this here. See, I had done another thing where I was jumping in the air, and right about there, right about there, I pulled a little something in my hamstring. So that looks stupid, so I'm just going to get rid of that, and just going to, I think right about there, I'm going to make a cut, walk a little further, Right there, I'm going to make another cut. You want to leave distance between... And right there, I like how the sun is hitting my hair. Right there. And of course, you can add another one if you want to. But I think three is going to be good enough. So what you want to do is spread this out. And we are going to bring it right to the end. The last frame of this cut. And we are going to hit the share button and take a snapshot of that. And that's going to send that to our pictures. We're going to go over to the next cut. Right to the last frame. Take a snapshot of that as well and send that off to the pictures. And then come over here to the last frame of this cut. And take a snapshot of that as well. Okay, so let's go over to our photos just to make sure they're there. Yep. So now we're going to launch Magic Eraser, and whenever you use a free app, be prepared to deal with commercials. So let's go ahead and launch Magic Eraser. This is going to prompt you to purchase the full version, but we just want to use it just this once. So let's go ahead and hit the X in the upper left-hand corner, and that is going to take us out of there. And now, of course, they're going to run a commercial on us, but you can see the countdown up in the corner until we can get out of this. We'll hit the X, and that is going to take us to the app. Now, if this is the first time that you're launching it, it's going to ask you permission to access your photos. Go ahead and grant it access to your photos. This way, whenever you launch this app, it's going to pull up the photos that you want to work with. So let me go ahead and grab the very first photo. So the very first thing that we want to do is crop as much out of this as we possibly can because that's, that's going to be less work for us to deal with when we're actually erasing it. So once we've cropped where we want to crop it, do as much as we can. We're going to hit done. And my cat, come on, honey. Come on, honey, don't step on my iPad. Come on, honey. I'm going to take you out. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. You want to go? Do you got a pee? Do you got a pee? Okay, come on. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is the window where it's going to bring us. Okay, so what we want to do is immediately hit the eraser app, and that is right here. This is the eraser. Now, if you want to move your picture around, you have to do it with two fingers. And if you want to zoom in or zoom out, you have to use two fingers. If you just use one, 
that's just going to be the eraser, okay? So whenever you want to position it, you have to use two fingers. So let's zoom in on it. And now we are going to start to erase. So down here, you see this little dial? This is going to show you how big of an eraser that you're working with. So we're going to start pretty big to work with just to sort of get out all of this other stuff that we don't want. And then we'll use the finer one to work out the finer details. Ooh. So if you make a mistake like I just did, what you need to do is come over here and hit the reverse button and that will undo the last action that you did. But if you did a lot at one time and you hit the reverse button, it's going to reverse all the work that you did. So you might want to stop from time to time when you do some of the finer details because you don't want to lose a lot of your work. So let's go ahead and dial this down now to about 14%. And we're going to take out even more. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom up on it. Okay, so now I'm going to make this even smaller to work out some of the finer details. We'll go all the way down to 4%. Can you guys hear my son knocking on the door? I'm going to have to let him in. Let's zoom in here. At this rate, it's very, very pixelated. But that's okay, because it's going to be so small on the screen, you won't really notice it that much. And when you zoom in and out, you can see some of the spots that you missed. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So what I want to do is, of course, save this back to my camera roll. So we are going to hit the share button, which can be found on the upper right hand side of the screen. So what we want to do from here is save this as a PNG with a transparent background. So we're going to tap that and let's go ahead and use high resolution. And that is immediately going to save that to our camera roll. Let's just go and make sure it's there. Boom, there I am, yay. Okay, so let's go to photos. And there they are. So let's go ahead and get these ladies over into my iCloud Drive. Okay, so what we want to do is grab the first image and drop it right on the timeline, the entire length of the timeline, right up to the first cut. Now what we're going to do is double tap on it to edit it down. So obviously now it's just going to be a game of cropping and placement. Matching it up perfectly. Take your time with it because you want it to look good. So you want it right on the money you want this to be as perfect as possible. Okay, so let's grab the second one, which is this one. And we're going to put that right above that one. And of course, this is going to be the entire length of the timeline as well, right up to that second cut. You might even have to cut a little bit of this off. So same thing here. It's a game of matching the size and matching the placement. Just take your time because you want it to be perfect. Perfect. Okay, now last one. Double tap on that for the edit. And if you can't do it by hand, just tweak it with the sliders because this is, can be difficult. There it is. So maybe to make this a little more dramatic, I did film this in 60 frames per second. So what I can do is slow this down 
Go to speed and reverse and drop it down to 40. And then we would just go down to all of these and slow those down to 40 as well. And then we would just have to pull these out. Let's just shorten this. Okay, let's see it again in slow motion. We still might have to cut it. The last one looks like it needs to be cut. Okay, so now that I slowed it down, let me see, have to cut them a little better. Okay, so just keep that in mind. If you're slowing it down, you are going to need to cut those. And by the way, if, if you're ever interested in speed ramping, learning how to do speed ramping, it's just manipulating the speed right there, the speed and reverse key, and then you just slow it down. To be honest with you, my take on speed ramping is to not speed something up to where the people look like they're walking in a Benny Hill episode. I think that you should slow everything down to 40% or slower and then when you speed it up, it should be at normal speed. Because if you have somebody walking around and they're walking around super fast, I think that looks stupid. I think the way that you should use speed ramping is slowing elements of your video down, not speeding them up to where people are walking around and looking like they're nuts. Also, if you wanted, let me just go into the pictures here. What we could do to make this perhaps even a little more dramatic, go to original, is we can tweak the different pictures that are sitting here. They don't have to be, they don't have to match the video exactly the same. So you can, let's say, maybe pull up the saturation of one or the contrast. This is the one we're looking at right here. Uh, the brightness can make her super bright or we can even uh, pull down the, let's say, could make me like partially invisible if I wanted. One more time. All right, and that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, wear your sunblock.